Good afternoon, gardening family. So I am here today because I have this beautiful tomato plant that I have allowed to grow suckers. So I have one, two, three suckers that I am going to take off of here now. I actually have one more that's right here because this looks like the main plant and that's the sucker but i'm going to leave that one for now because that is the main and it has my first tomatoes yay i also have another plant that is right here and i have tomatoes on that one as well and i'm also allowing some suckers to grow but i'm going to pull these off because i'm going to utilize the space that I have right here to add in those couple of plants and it's an experiment I've never taken any off of a plant this large before but I said you know what I've already let them grow I was pruning it and leaving the suckers intentionally so I'm going to take them off and plant them and let's see what happens all right let's go ahead and take one of these limbs off one and I'm going to just stick it in here, my watering can, for the time being. And I just hit that. <laughs> Two. And three. So now, here are my other two that I'm also just going to drop in here for the time being. And now I'm going to prepare my holes. Okay, I have dug my holes and this is the bed that has ashes in it. Uh, you guys may not even know what's going on because I unfortunately lost a lot of videos. So, uh, yeah, you probably don't have any idea what's going on in this garden. <laughs> but in any case, uh, these are... are uh, planted these are going to be planted in the area that belongs to my husband this is basically where there's a section of biochar um like a, a form of biochar here so i'm going to plant them there i've already amended with some black cow cow manure in there and i'm going to put the soil back over it after i put some michael's mycorrhizal in here all right already given it a healthy dose of michaels and now i'm just going to take those plants and put them in the ground so this is going to be one of them and i'm going to lay it down here just like that and cover it that way this one's going to be done similarly but I'm going to turn it in the opposite direction just so they won't be so close together. And I actually need to adjust these some since the stems are pretty close together at this point. But I will do that as well before I put them uh, in their final destinations. All right, I'm going to go with this setup for this one. And that one I'm going to sit further back there. So I have a little distance in between so I feel good about how far the roots will be apart my video cut out I think my camera fell over and I didn't realize it so this update now is our little tomato plant and it has been here for about 10 days and it's doing very well this is our second one and it also is doing very well. And look at this, guys. Look at that. She is flowering. And look at how tall she is. She's a little thing. But she's already flowering because she was pulled off of this mother plant. So needless to say, I love this. I'm going to do this more often. I actually have more suckers here. Let me see this sucker right there. I have a sucker growing here. I'll probably take that out of there. But these are actually suckers. If you'll notice right here, growing up under this, that stem, this is where 
the uh, other leaf was, the other stem was. And this is actually the sucker. So I will be pulling that one as well. And maybe one of these smaller ones, or maybe all of these smaller ones. But needless to say, I have more suckers. This is going to be the final update in this installment of our transplantation of mature suckers from this mother plant. Look at this, guys. We are now about a month in and we have flowers on it and these are the tomatoes that came from the flowers that were in one of the other videos and look at this one also coming along very nicely all right looking good the last one is over here and she has also taken very well and is also flowering and look at that and he's gone an aphid <laughs> but they have taken very well look at that beauty and these plants like I mentioned they've only come off of the mother plant about a month ago but I have tomatoes flowering <laughs> I have tomato flowers so I'm gonna have tomatoes very soon from these guys so guys I would say this is an absolute absolute uh, success I will be adding this to my arsenal of gardening tools because this is a quick and easy way to get a head start on your tomato plants. You already have a mature plant and suckers are already growing, many of which we probably have allowed to get out of control. So we have suckers all the time. And then we end up with this. So this plant here, if she were standing completely up, she would be maybe about four feet tall and this one is about two feet tall already with tomatoes can't beat that guys this is absolutely a success all right guys that is it for now i hope this was helpful for you that you went along the journey with me with our little experiment transplantation of mature tomato suckers and yeah i hope this is something that maybe you can add to your arsenal as well all right guys that is it for now if you like the content please click like and subscribe hit that notification bell so that you will know when i upload another video and we'll see you in the next one